Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into an arcade style racer from Namco, of course, because Namco is the arcade, uh, the original, one of the original arcade behemoths that made uh, a lot of the classic games like Pac Man. This game has a large emphasis on power slides, etc. So I'm going to talk about that in just a second, but as you can see, I've got a nifty, unique controller here Ridge Racer R4, Ridge Racer Type 4 colon R4 is a game that features a totally unique controller called a JogCon. It's a PlayStation controller with a little racing wheels. You can see here, it has a little divot in here so you can put your thumb in to do this. Or you could sort of just, you know, move your thumb around the bottom. It's totally cool. It actually is force feedback, so when we're racing, it's gonna jerk left and right like this, and I'm gonna have to try and like fight it with my thumbs to like steer properly the direction I want. So I'm really looking forward to playing with this little thing. Um, I really, really, really love unique controllers like this, guys. It's so sad to me. When I got this controller, I was all excited to play Ridge Racer, but I thought, oh my god, maybe I can connect it to my play my PC, and I can play some other racers on it, because now I'll have this PlayStation controller with a nifty little steering wheel. Turns out that actually uh, is not the case. Besides Ridge Racer 5 for the PlayStation 2, which can use this controller, you really can't use this controller with virtually any other um, game, unfortunately, even connected to your PC. Um, there is kind of a hack that allows you to do it, uh, but it doesn't quite work perfectly. Anyway, in the opening montage there for Ridge Racer, there's a woman on uh, her way to work, and I guess she flagged down a street racer and is now going to try to negotiate a ride. And she seems to be very impressed by the car, giving a little smile, getting into the car. This looks like a car that is, like, legit in the middle of a race. Like, it has, um, you know, numbers and stuff painted on the side as if it's, like, in the middle of, like, a, an Indy 500 race or something, so... I guess she's getting the ride of a lifetime to work, flying to work, or is she even going to work? Like, I don't even understand what that intro was supposed to be conveying to us. Welcome to the world of Ridge Racer. Why, thank you. Let's go ahead and get started here. I'm going to turn on, so the red light here indicates that, uh, if you can see the red light, that I've now turned on the racing wheel, and I'm so excited to start using this thing. So, Ridge Racer, considered one of the great... Uh, PlayStation 1 racers, perhaps one of the best. Some people have said it's better than Gran Turismo, which is high praise, I think. Um, we can go into the garage and look at our cars. I'm pretty sure I don't have any cars here because I've never played this game before. Now I kind of regret clicking on the garage. If you're wondering what's going on with the video quality, by the way, I'm going to get out of this and just go to the game. If you're wondering what's going on with the video quality for this video, I actually, uh, unfortunately, could only record this game off an original PlayStation using RCA uh, output. So the video is a little lower quality than I normally go for. I tried playing this game on my PS2, which can output on component, which would give me some nice, clear video. But unfortunately, this my capture card would not pick this game up when it ran through the PS2, which is really kind of a bummer. But I had to play it with the real controller, so we had to play it on a PS2. One. Welcome to the real racing routes of 99 Grand Prix. So we're going to go ahead and say okay. Here are the rules of competition for the Grand Prix. The Grand Prix consists of three stages with a total of eight races. I'm going to be eliminated in the first race, I can tell you that, right off the get-go. Stages one and two each consist of two races, while the final round consists of four races. All right, I, I'm down with that. You have four chances to advance through each race. I'm definitely talking over an announcer who's giving us all the same info, but I like the sound of my voice better than his guys, so I'm going to go with it. You must finish each race within the qualifying to advance to the Grand Prix. Alright, thanks. Thanks for the info, guys. Th thanks for, like, looming the specter of failure over me. Now now how am I supposed to race? I just feel like I'll discombine. I need to go take an angry nap to get over the, the pressure this announcer is putting on me. But, uh, okay, so this game uh, is really big in power slides. So the whole game mechanic is centered around the idea of drifting around corners and doing power slides. If you played Mario Kart on the SNES, you know what I'm talking about. If you played other racing games, I suppose you might know what I'm talking about. But I, my, my reference point is Mario on the Super Nintendo. There's two kinds of cars in this game. There's the drift kind, that when you're going around a corner, you can tap the brakes once to enter a power slide. Then there's the grip kind, that require you to alternate back and forth between brake and gas which just sounds beyond my skill level by far. So we're going to try and get a drift style car. There are 320 cars to unlock if you beat all the races. And if you do beat all, all the races and you get the 320th car, you actually get a bonus 321st car, which is a Pac-Man car. Look there, I think there we're showing us the Pac-Man car. 
The Pac Man car, there it is. We can we can earn it. A new Japanese team competing for the first time this season. Their cars are tuned for balanced performance. All right. I would really love to earn the Pac Man car, but that is 320 cars between me and the Pac Man car. It's never happening. So you're the punk who's supposed to give us a win in season. What, what was all the aggression, man? An inexperienced punk at that look. I came here in good faith to race cars and try to do you guys a solid by pulling your team out of the gutter, and this is the thanks I get. Oh, God, he's a Yakuza. I am so sorry, sir. I did not... Oh, no, wait, Yazaki. Oh, I thought you were Yakuza. Now I'm back to disrespecting you. The manager of this team, I can't believe those bozos at top sending me an inexperienced rookie like you. Listen, dude... Don't take it out on me, man. Like, how am I supposed to race now? You're just you're shattering my confidence. This is not this is not good leadership. Um, since our team doesn't even register a blip on the racing fans' radar, the worst you could do is ruin our non-existent reputation. Yeah, great pep talk, buddy. You must be you must you must kill it with the ladies. I'll tell you that. Our benefactors upstairs have agreed to let us choose the sponsor we want for this season. So what do you say? Why don't you amuse me by choosing the car you want? All right. Finally, some choice. You can choose one car manufacturer out of four to sponsor this season. All right. Let's see who we got. We have the Italian auto manufacturer. Their car designs are characterized by fluid and sporty body styles. I like the sound of that. American auto manufacturer. Ugh. Ugh. Who drives an American-made car? That's terrifying. A Japanese auto manufacturer, <laughs> Tarazi. Do American cars still have, like, a terrible reputation? I know when I was growing up, it's like... The joke was that American-made cars are just terrible. I don't know if they're, they're still that bad, but, uh, uh, you know, I'm still living in the 90s, guys. Japanese auto manufacturer Tarazi is renowned for their varied body styles. And the French auto manufacturer, their designs focus on compact aerodynamic body styles. Interesting. That looks like a James Bond car, I tell you. Which is odd because it's French and James Bond is English. We have a Japanese, we're skipping over the American, the Lizard, or the Leipzig, or whatever. Actually, that does, that card does look pretty awesome, I will say that. Or the Italians. Let's let's mix it up and go with French. I mean, hell, I'm Canadian, that means I'm half French anyway, right? So, let's go ahead and pick the French car, because it looks a bit like James Bond. And this car, sure, I'm going to say okay to this. And automatic or manual transmission, I always go manual, because if I picked automatic... We would never get out of first gear because I don't. I, to this day, to, I can program my own computer games in C++. I do not understand how to shift gears in a car. It's sad. Hey kid, we've signed up with Age Solo for a sponsorship deal like you requested. Thanks. Thanks for listening to me, you numbskull. See, I can dish it out as good as I get it, buddy. Yazaki. Their cars have ex excellent traction, so you can easily cut off other cars as you go into corners. I like the sound of that. If you don't want to end up retiring on the first race, learn how to drive this beast. I will. Are you ready now? The first heat is about to start. Let's do it, Yazaki. Trust me, I've got my Jogcon controller. I am pumped. I'm ready to do the French proud. They're going to be like, damn, that Canadian boy, he's got some, he's got some guff, I'll tell you that much. So we can start, go to car data, or just like totally drop out of the GP. Let's go ahead with start. I feel like that's the better option. Oh, this is really cool. Look at this. It's sort of like a, see the circles going around the track and we're getting like an interesting sort of digitization of the track. It reminds me of one of those like pin things where you can like put your face in and it like your face appears as like uh, nooks and valleys on like a, a grid of pins. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? It's like a children's toy. Put your hand in it and you get like a 3D print of your hand. That's really neat. Okay, let's go ahead and start. So far, the presentation for this game, I'm really digging. I can get behind. Um, I'm looking forward to, like, a solid racer. I mean, I don't have the the, the developed palette to be able to, to tell fine grain differences between racing games. Oh, man, I think the wheel just moved, by the way. Oh, yeah, look, I can't rotate it very easily too far anymore. And it, like, centers itself. You see that? <laughs> okay, stop messing around. Time to race. All right, here we go. Yes, I'm racing with a racing wheel. I love it. Oh my god. I mean, just the fact that you can use this wheel to race in this game already makes it a winner in my book. Because, like, the thing is, like, I've played so many racer games over the years. Ah, oh, sweet, we just passed a guy. I've played so many racers that, like, yeah, if I had to use a normal controller, whatever, it's, it's fine. But it's just sort of like, it's awesome when there's something unique and different to a game. And actually, as I, as I said when I started out this video, let's see if we can pass this guy. Oh god, ricocheting off the walls. Okay, well, hey, there's a drone up there doing aerial tricks to entertain us as we race. 
Um, I could play this game with a normal controller. I could get over it, guys. There's, there's nothing that, about this game that means you have to play it with this uh, unique PlayStation controller. But it is awesome because, oh god, okay, I'm really bad at, oh god, <laughs> I'm ping-ponging from one corner of the road to the other, oh, I'm, I'm so, this controller's making it so hard, okay, I gotta get used to this, oh my god, normally, I, I you, you know, you have to, like, press, press the directions, like, a lot to get your car to go left or right, but this thing is so sensitive, I kind of have to adapt here, but I still love it, because I love that it is unique, and it's adding, like, a new, a new, element, a new challenge to my racing that uh, is different from what you'd normally get, oh god, in a, in a racer, man, oh god, oh geez, maybe I should not be using this controller actually, oh my god, it, if you've watched my other racing videos, you might have thought, how, how could he do any worse than we've seen him in the past, and we found a way, we found a way, but again, unique controls, they're just, they're, they're such a nice change of pace, I find, so I'm going to try using one thumb instead of two. I think two thumbs is messing it up. And I, because this is a racing wheel, I can let go to let the car stabilize and go forward again. So I think that's the secret. I'm doing a lot better now, actually. I'm ping-ponging off fewer walls. But all it takes is, like, one turn that I can't make. Ah, oh, God, how do you... I think, I think left trigger is to break, but it's not putting me into the power slide I want it to. Um, I did experiment with this. By the way, oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, that was a power slide. We did it. I did experiment with this before I started the game because I did not want to be in the situation of having no idea how to play this game. Oh, yeah, we power slid. Oh, yeah, Jade's figuring it out. Oh, now you guys, now you guys are in trouble because now I actually figured out how to actually control the car. So it was a key skill I was missing before, but I was doing okay when I didn't know how to control the car. So what are some controller schemes that you guys would be really excited to try at home? It's kind of one of those things where like as video game controllers have evolved, like these days pretty much the Xbox and the PlayStation, they all have like the same controller. And like even the Nintendo, the Nintendo's always been different, but they have pretty much the exact same controller as the others. Uh, sort of at some level, they have the dual analog stick and the D-pad and the four buttons and the two triggers. Nintendo still obviously is quite unique compared to the others. Hey, we, we qualified! We qualified! Yeah! We're the kings! But anyway, Nintendo aside, like, controllers have kind of converged to the point where, like, all major companies have the same basic controller structure. And that's good because now we don't have to suffer through really badly designed controllers. But it also kind of takes something away because unique controllers like this are fewer and farther between. Um, oh, there we go. Congratulations. You qualified. Congratulations. You are satisfactory. Why, thank you. It's always been my goal to be completely satisfactory. Not above average, not below average, just satisfactory. Wow, that was impressive. You know, I was starting a pool with the crew to see how many laps it would take before you came back crying. At least for now. Third place ain't too bad. I'll give you permission to be happy. I don't need your permission. Uh, you want me to take sensitivity training or something? Man, this guy's got so much attitude, it's ridiculous. Hopefully over the course of the game we can, like, earn his respect and then eventually, like, he'll be, like, our biggest supporter, our most staunch supporter. Okay, we're in the second heat. We gotta pass this, guys. But, uh, yeah, I always wonder, like, if video game controllers had not converged on a standard, would there be more variety in the controllers we see today? And I wouldn't mind that if, if that was a thing. But, hey, like, you know, I, I, I'm, a, I'm a dreamer, I guess. I like to have unique controls. I don't know if there's a, a type of control that you've seen. Oh, look, it moved again. So you've seen in arcades or whatever that you would like to see more in home consoles. Um, if there is, let me know in the comments. I mean... I'm always on the lookout for old, funky controllers and stuff, and uh, and dreaming of other types of controllers that may not exist, but maybe one day will, so I don't know. Anyway, focusing on the racing part of the racing game, so in that last course, really, I was doing really poorly when I was trying to use two thumbs on the steering wheel, and also, I did not know how to power drift. I figured it out. You gotta let go of the gas, then tap the brakes, and you will drift! Oh, yeah! <laughs> I mean, I still don't have, oh god, I still don't have as fine a touch, I think, as I need, but I'm getting there, and I'm starting to figure it out. I think with enough practice, I could figure out exactly how much drifting is required around each and every turn, but I think I'm doing okay, so I'm seventh right now, let's pass this guy. Sucks to be you, loser! <laughs> what you need to do is learn how to drift, let go of the gas when you hit the brakes and you'll be fine! 
what I shout at all the people I pass. I try and shout them like, uh, you know, supportive tips as I pass other racers. Because I, I, you know, I don't want people to feel bad about losing. I mean, I don't want to lose. Definitely want to beat them. But I don't want. I know what it's like to lose, and so I don't want them to have to go through the same pain that I do. I don't want them to go back to their pit boss and have him like make fun of them like mine does to me. Even when I place. I place. I would like to see that. I would like to challenge that guy to a race or to just punch him in the face a repeated number of times to see how he likes it. Because if I, if either he can race better than me or he can sock up a number of punches to the face, either way I feel like I'll be happy. But for him just to make fun of me without bringing it, I don't know, man. Like, he's either got to show me that he's better at racing or he's got to let me punch him a bunch of times. Then it will be acceptable to make fun of me. That th Those are my two general conditions. If someone's going to mock me, I want one of those two things to happen first. Um, this, this music in the background, by the way, don't know if you've been jamming out to it, but this game actually released a unique soundtrack. I think it was only the second time Namco had ever done that in their company history. But I actually, if you guys don't know already, I'm like a fan of video game soundtracks. I, I love them. I will admit in high school, I definitely had a few video game, uh, video game songs that I burned onto mixed CDs to listen on my drive into school with my friends back in the day. Um, it may not have been anything more sophisticated than like Mario and Warcraft 2, but hey, um, you know, I, I wasn't that cool as a teenager. I think I'm much cooler these days, although. I suppose that's debatable. I suppose that coolness is, is just a state of mind, and it depends on who you are if you're going to judge me to be cool or not. But yeah, you could uh, get this soundtrack and listen to these sweet Ridge Racer 4 tunes. I feel like I'm definitely getting the hang of things. Oh, well, I didn't ping pong off the walls this time. I think we're definitely doing better. Um, of all the racing games I've played on the PlayStation 1, by the way, I feel like this one is one where I'm, like, actually picking up fairly quickly. And I kind of like that. There's, like, a guy right on my tail, though. He's been with us for a while. Oh, now's his chance to pass. Well, I think he wiped out worse than I did because he's nowhere to be seen. Okay, here we go. There's a second place guy up here. Oh, my God. We're going to make that pit boss eat his words. My only motivation in this game is not actually to be a good racer. It's just to, like, get that pit boss off my... my my case get it to get some respect from them oh no oh no oh no okay we gotta oh shoot we're in a lot of trouble now oh no i'm losing it no oh i ah, this is not good oh crap i think i threw the race please be one more round one more oh no oh we're in a lot of trouble oh shoot he's not gonna eat any words He's going to chew us out. We're, he's going to eat us. He's going to chew us out and spit us out. We failed. Oh, God. What are we going to tell him? What are we going to tell him? We need a we need an ex appropriate excuse here. Okay, we got the retry option, which is good. But, oh, man, we, we failed on the second race. That is, that is not how you're supposed to play this game. I mean, I guess with no game, you're supposed to fail that quickly. Hey, our car is the Pac-Man car, man. That's, that's interesting. So what is the 321st car that is actually the Pac-Man car, I wonder? Like, how does it differ from the one we've got? Because ours says Pac-Man on it. So I'm willing, I'm willing to say that we that this game recognized skill as soon as we picked up the controller. It was like, yo, give this dude the Pac-Man car. Um, either that or it recognized a lack of skill. It was like, yo, give this dude the Pac-Man car. Either way, it decided to give it to us, I'm going to assume. Okay, so... Pro tip, if you do get into third, don't get so blinded by trying to take second that you throw a third away, because that is not that is that is not how you're supposed to race. You always want to be improving in, uh, in your standing, never going down. I feel like that really shattered my confidence, though, because I don't think I'm racing this time around nearly as good as I did the last time. Damn it. I can't believe that, man. We were third for a while, too. I don't even know how long, because I just looked up and I was like, hey, we're in third? It's like, I didn't even know, but we're we're qualifying, it seems. And then joke was on me, we did not qualify. Okay. So I think you really, you have to, there's some corners where you really have to drift, or there's like, just no way to, to do it without messing up. But then there's other corners where like, if you drift, you're just taking away your speed. So it's like knowing when to drift and when not to, man. Hey, here we go. Here's the fourth place guy. Oh, damn it. 
I looked up to look at my rank and that slowed me down. Okay, stop focusing on rank, Jay. Jay, just race as good as you feel like you can. That's all you have to do in this life, guys. Just don't worry about where you're placing compared to everyone else. Just do the best job that you can. And the best job that I can is somewhere in the range of bad for this racer. Man, I can't even catch up to this guy. Okay, here we go. So that, that part there right before the finish line where it gets all windy, I actually seem to have some trouble with. So keep let's keep that in mind. That whatever place I'm in when I get to that, I'm probably gonna lose a place. So do, really we wanna be in second very soon to make sure that we can end this race in at least third. As long as we're getting at least third place in life, guys, I think that's winning. Losing is when you're like consistently in sixth. Oh god, the guy in sixth must feel really bad about his life. Third, I can live with third. Oh, damn it. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, come on. The second place guy's gotta be around here somewhere as well. He's gotta be just like lingering in the bushes. Ugh, man, I am. I'm having a hard time maintaining it. It's like I can get the third, but I keep losing it. It's like it's just it's just slightly beyond my skill level. Who knows that it's like I was built to be third. I need a t-shirt that's like born to be in third place. Damn it. This is like th this would be like the climax of a movie where like me and him are in like a duel. It's like we're constantly trading places back and forth. Oh my god. I'm gonna try using two thumbs again. It did not work for me way back when. I don't know why I think it'll work now, but I'm gonna try it. Oh god, this is... Oh no! Bad. Oh, it's real bad, guys. Why can I not pass this guy? Get over here! If you could just break, give me a pity break. Uh, now we're into the, the difficult part for me. Mm. Okay. Come on! Ah! Oh god! Oh, the finish line's right there! Accelerate! Accelerate! Yes! Oh wait, there's another lap? Oh my god! Oh god, I thought we were done. Oh no, that was the finish line there! Oh yes! We willed it to happen! <laughs> Man, it's like we're winning by like the skin of our teeth! Go Pac-Man car! All right, so we've actually qualified. Once again, we qualified. Completely satisfactory work. So let's go ahead and see what uh, this douche of a uh, pit crew boss is gonna tell us. I halfway expected this, but babysitting a rookie like you is tiring. Someone take me out of my misery now. Oh, you shut, you shut your face, Pac-Man dude. Whatever the case, I'm starting to feel that we have a chance of surviving the second heat. Well, I'm glad that you're gaining confidence because the more I race, I'm kind of losing it, so. At least somebody's excited for the next race. I I like this game so far, but I feel like my skill level is rapidly reaching a point where it's not going to be able to keep up with the next races. Uh, you have some excitement for one day. Just go get some rest. Thanks. Thanks for not leaning into me too hard. Do you want to save your current brand Grand Prix results? We could, but I don't have a memory card. So we're going to go ahead and skip it. Yes, back in the day of the PlayStation 1, if you didn't have a memory card, there was just no possibility of saving your game. You just had to play it in one fell swoop. And You've got a new card. Ready, to, Ready roll. to roll. Oh, sweet. There's like a Pac-Man truck. I love all the Namco references in this, by the way. So this is not a classic arcade game, but I mean, it does feel like definitely an arcade racer. Um, but it's not a classic arcade game, but it does have like a really cool feel to it. I definitely see why people say that the presentation in this game holds up for sure. I love like the menus, the little banter we have with that pit crew boss guy who's kind of a, dirt, a jerk. I mean, the style of this game, we're just gonna skip what he says here, forget it. We're, we're, we're done talking to you. you. You have never said anything nice to us, we just don't wanna hear it. We just had our headphones in the entire time he was trying to talk to us. But I love the presentation here, it, it's pretty cool. Um, the book, The Thousand One Games Just Play Before You Die book, says that this game is definitely an acquired taste. Basically, it's pre through its presentation, it holds up. Uh, but it is like, you know, game-wise, a bit of an acquired taste. And actually, you know, I would... I, I, w I was thinking originally when I read about this game that I would agree with it. But I almost don't agree with it in that I don't know what there is to acquire a taste for here. This just feels like a fairly solid racer game. Like, it... 
you know, definitely may not have as many features as like, you know, a modern racer like Forza or something like that, but it doesn't feel like leagues different to me than a game like Forza. And again, definitely the unique racing wheel controller is kind of cool, and, and it, it will give you an experience you can't get in other racing games. So like, I don't know. Um, I was going to ask you guys what your favorite acquired taste game was because definitely I think there are games that I like that are acquired tastes where like they're the kind of game that most people may not enjoy upon first playing but if you give it a chance it'll grow on you um, and I was just sort of wondering if you guys uh, knew of other games like that that you could say like legit this is a game I like but I understand most people are not going to like it the first time they play it but it is it is a good game in the end um, and I was going to ask you guys to sort of leave comments down below I, I'm still asking you by the way it's just that I thought I was going to end up agreeing with the book that this is an acquired taste but I, again I don't know what there is about that you have to acquire here I mean it's a solid racer yeah the graphics are a little pixelated because it is a PlayStation 1 game but it honestly I mean the graphics were completely fine to me the courses seem fine the details seems fine uh, there's very little not to like here i mean the only thing that you could not like is if you don't like arcade racers then you wouldn't like this game but i mean that's 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 not even a comment that's just like you know if you don't like card games don't play solitaire you know if you don't like strategy games don't play civilization you know like if, if you don't like a genre of game don't play it but other than that if you like racers there's nothing that jumps out to me at least as oh you're not gonna like this oh you know stay away from ridge racer 4 um, so I think I totally get why this is was considered one of the best arcade racers ever put out on the PS1 by some people is that yeah I mean even you know however many years later like a decade later it still feels fairly solid in fact I think it's more than a decade I'm pretty sure this game is like at least 15 years old I just don't happen to have the exact year beside me so I don't want to say it and then have people correct me like actually it's 16 years you're incorrect in the comments um, you know, it's old. Let's just agree that it's old. Um, I am back to my, my eternal rivalry with the third place guy, though. He's being a total dick as per usual, but actually, I'm doing way better now. So is this, what do we think? Is this an improvement in skill? Or is it just that I'm, like, am I getting the hang of it? Or is this track just more my, my style? I find with racing games sometimes that, like, some tracks I like just intuitively am better at racing on whereas others I'm not and it doesn't always go in sequence like it's not always like the last track is the absolute hardest and the one right before it is the second hardest and so on it sort of mixes all over the place where like sometimes there's a track in the middle that I get stuck on but then once I'm past that then all the other tracks are not too bad so I kind of feel like that's what's happening here is like this track just speaks to me I don't know what it is I, I guess I spent a lot of time racing around on highway exits in my youth I did not, but uh, let's just say I did, because that's one explanation for why I'm doing okay at a game like this here. Zoom in pad. Now we're dueling with the second place guy. It's like a new rival. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Are we actually going to get first? That would blow my little mind. That would blow me away, man. I, I didn't think we would see a first in this game. But I feel, I feel, I'm feeling good, man. I don't know where the start line or the finish line is. I guess that's a bad sign. Uh, but I feel like we're, we at least are a contender. We're, we might even see the first place. If we could see the first place guy before... Oh, there he is! There he is! I was about to say if we could see him by the time this race ends, I would feel satisfied. Oh my god, there he is. Oh my god, if we could catch him, I would feel even more than satisfied. Oh my god. We are actually catching up to him. Oh, you son of a... Oh, you know what? I'll take it. I'll take it. You know what he wanted to be first? He wanted it more than me. I'm, I'm a nice guy. I'm willing to sort of um, let people, um, you know, have have what they want in this life. As long as I get second place, somebody else can be first. Because then he has to deal with all the pressure and stuff. I don't, I'm not a guy that works well under pressure. I just don't want to live a, a pressure-filled life. That's why I play video games in my spare time. <laughs> um, not bad, kid. Not bad. How did you manage to squeeze enough performance out of a warmed... Uh, out of a warmed over car and get a w what how did am i reading this right to squeeze enough performance out of a warmed over car and get second place to boot could it be that you're better than gulano who okay whatever dude look you have personal problems you take it out on me we're not friends if i was on another team i would spit every time i see you but unfortunately you're the guy that kind of repairs my car and stuff so i'm not gonna do that but I do not like that guy. He's trouble, man. Stay away from Yazuka. He is he's not a good person. 
You guys can do better than that. Okay, so let's say that this is going to be our last race then. Um, because we do have to kind of draw a line in the sand somewhere. And I feel like we're getting a good sense of this game from the races we've seen so far. So Ridge Racer Type 4 colon R4. Actually, I think it's R4 colon Ridge Racer Type 4. Um, it's Ridge Racer 4, basically. They just abbreviated it as R4. Um, and it's technically called Ridge Racer Type 4. I don't know. Anyway, this game is one of the games in the book 1001 Video Games You Must Play Before You Die. Um, and what do we think of that? Um, well, I have a few thoughts. One is that it is a racing game. If you don't like racing games, don't play the game. Uh, so there, I said it. Be after that, though, um, I have to say I'm leaning towards I think this is a game that's worth playing. Uh, definitely, if you can get your hands on a JogCon controller like I've got here, I think that this is a must-play in the sense of, like, how many home racing games can you play with a such a unique controller? Yeah, you can find, uh, you can find, like, racing wheels and stuff for, like, PlayStation and Xbox, but you can't find, like, a PlayStation controller that has a, a, a force-sensitive wheel built right into the freaking controller. Like, it's very unique. And a lot of racing wheels, too, don't necessarily have force feedback. This one does, so it kind of fights back when you try and steer left or right. You feel pressure pushing back against you. I think that's super cool. You don't always see that. You know, even in games, you know, like DualShock controllers and stuff like that, it's like, yeah, they have motors to make the controllers vibrate, but it's never like you feel pressure pushing back against you on the analog sticks. You don't have force feedback. Um, and I think the reason you don't is because Namco has it patented or something like that, so it would make sense that if any company was going to make a controller that actually had the force feedback, it would be Namco. I wish that Namco would make more control. You know what? If they're not going to let go of the patent, then just make a bunch of controllers, damn it, and make some games that support it. Because uh, I love force feedback technology. It's so cool. You see it in the arcades all the time. Shoot. You don't see it on, uh, on home consoles very often at all. So I think for some reasons like that, this game is a must-play from a certain perspective. I also think I agree with uh, with people who have said this is one of the best racers on the PlayStation. Um, I don't know about saying if it edges out Gran Turismo or not, uh, but it definitely has a has. It, it's easy enough that even a novice could pick it up and do okay with it. Like I feel like I'm doing okay. I'm not doing terrific, but I'm doing. I'm. Uh, it's barely passable. But with enough practice, I could get quite a bit better at this, I think. And I think this would be like a solid racer. Like, it feels like it's not a racer that's so complicated, I wouldn't be able to, like, figure it out with time. So, um, yeah, decent racer, solid, holds up well, even though it's PlayStation 1, has a unique control. Hey, what are you waiting for? Go give this game a shot. But hey, that's just my opinion. What do you guys think of Ridge Racer 4 here? Is it a game that you agree with me is worth checking out? Maybe even, if only, to try with this funky controller? Or do you think, eh, you know, I'm, I'm a racing game aficionado. I don't think there's anything that special about it. I think maybe uh, there's other games on the PlayStation 1 that are more deserving of the idea of going back and playing them. Let me know in the comments down below. Uh, I'm always interested to hear what you guys uh, have to say about this kind of stuff. And as always, whether you agree with me, my assessment of the game or not, hopefully you've enjoyed checking it out and you've learned a little something. If you have, go ahead, like the video, subscribe to the channel, because we'll be back soon with a new video and a new game, and you don't want to miss out on that. So until next time, my friends, I'm just going to be here in somewhere lost in Japan, racing to try to appease some glorified pit boss. And you all take care of yourselves. Um, until next time, my friends, peace. Come here, buddy. I'm not going back to fourth place. Not again. The skill is in the thumb. I cannot disappoint Yakuza or Yuzuki, whatever the hell his name is. The skill is in the thumb. I still don't quite know if I'm drifting or not. I try to press the brake and I try to drift and I think I'm drifting. I guess it's not a good sign when you can't 100% tell if you're actually doing what you're supposed to in the game. What? I failed. What? I thought I was third. Oh my God. Okay, well, I guess I clearly wasn't drifting then.